How's it going guys and welcome back to another video, it's me Cam from Cam's Cobble and welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Lukaku's latest, Koundé latest, Tammy Abraham latest, Chelsea interested in another midfielder and of course the big match tonight at Chelsea versus Villarreal Super Cup preview. So without further ado, I'm Cam, this is Cam Cobble and I do daily Chelsea transfer news videos and some match vlogs. So without further ado, if you could subscribe that would be great, but without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now, starting with Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, uh, announce him please, Chelsea. It's been about a couple of days. I literally thought it was going to be announced on Monday. Then Tuesday came. It's now Wednesday. And I don't think you're going to announce him today because a certain Lionel Messi, who over years has been unveiled today. So they're going to steal the thunder, which isn't really great. Anyway, Fabrizio Romano has just said uh, that Romelu Lukaku has just signed his reputation contract extension with his agent in Monaco. New planning for London as Nick steps to be unveiled as a new Chelsea player. Again, there is no doubt or issue Lukaku is a done deal. Great. That explains why I've been uh, stalking planes this past week. Just some random people, I guess. Sorry for that. He. That's why he's staying at Monaco. He's extending his uh, agent, which is why he's there. Hopefully, he's off in London as we speak. Please be at London right now. I thought he was going to be in the... Super Cup squad, but that is not the case. We need to register him before Friday at 11pm for him to play on Saturday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it's done then. But yeah, I have no doubt. I knew this deal was done a week ago. I just uh, yeah took a break and didn't upload any videos about it. Sorry for that. On to the next story. So, for one striker coming in, a striker must leave. And that striker, unfortunately, for some people, is Tammy Abraham. And again... He's been linked to Arsenal. He's a boyhood Arsenal fan. He'd love to go there. No one would like him to go there, apart from him. Let's just say that. As well as Atlanta in the Serie A, as well as Jose Mourinho's AS Roma, which now I'm going to leave the Fabrizio tweet here. Thanks to Edin Dzeko going from Roma to Inter. Merry-go-round, good start. Potentially meaning AS Roma are still pushing for Tammy Abraham. They strike is left. They're going to be more desperate for Tammy. Arsenal's still in the race too, which is great. We want a bidding war for someone to get more money as possible, which would reach up to potentially about thirty-five million euro, uh, pounds, forty million euros. So that could be added onto the Chelsea budget, which will hopefully just negate all the money spent on um, Lukaku, which is great. On to the next story. In a video about Kunde about two weeks ago, we we're saying like the deal was pretty much done, two weeks have passed and of course a certain striker named Lukaku got in the way of that but now he's done, we can focus on Jules Kunde and there has been a lot surfacing about him today and we go to a tweet from Simon Phillips which has said I'm confident Jules Kunde to Chelsea will get done, they've been concentrating on Lukaku and Seville also want a replacement first which they're working on, I'm pretty sure the deal would be done. Uh, because Trevor Chalaba is probably going to go out on loan. Maybe it doesn't mean Kurt has to leave. But if he does leave, uh, Kunde will come in, which is great. Um, we just need to really agree a fee with Seville. They really want just money, hard, cold cash, which I'm sure we can afford. to get the deal over with Chelsea. I'm pretty sure this will be done as well. Nothing to worry about. Two new signings coming in the way. Maybe a third. On to the next story. Now, um, this is a story I don't really have a lot of knowledge on. But I'm just going to say it anyway. Chelsea are interested in a move for Dino, Moscow's midfielder Arsene Zakarayan, who is available for 12 million euros this summer. I have nothing more to say. I literally don't know who he is. I'm just telling you the news. Hopefully you know who he is. I have no idea. We do need a midfielder, but I would prefer that to be Tushemi or Declan Rice maybe next season. But this guy, 12 million euros. Yeah. Maybe not. On to next story. Now, it's the big one I've been waiting a long time for. It is the Super Cup final. Can we try and win our first Super Cup since 1998 against Real Madrid? We've had three pops at the cherry. Can I say that? Just did. Uh, previously, against Liverpool, I've had to go to Madrid and Bayern Munich, and we've lost all three. So hopefully, fourth time's a charm, and we actually win it. I'm pretty sure we will. So without further ado, I'm going to go into a preview and put the team here. So, uh, excuse the numbers. 
but I couldn't be asked to change every number. But this is the team I think is going to Tom Stuka is going to be going in. Me and him have similar mindsets, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be it. Yeah. Not. I think this is the exact same team that played against Spurs on Wednesday, which if you didn't know, I went and made a video, so check that out after this. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, the reason for this is definitely not our strongest team, but the English and maybe more English and Italian Euros players coming back uh, came back a bit late. They're going to be in the squad, obviously, but I don't think they'll start. We're allowed five substitutes, six if we go to extra time, so that's good. They'll get some minutes, I think. But yeah, in goal, of course, Edouard Mendy. It could be Kepa, but Tom Stuckel has reiterated how much he actually thinks this isn't really a friendly. He actually wants to win this game, which is good. Of course, the five back with Callum Asadori, right wing back, Alonso, left wing back, and Aspie, Dave, solid, right centre back, Rudiger, solid, left centre back, and hopefully, I think, I hope, Thiago Silva goes in front instead of Tre Trevor Chalaba, which, you know, just gives that more stability. Uh, Villarreal don't really have a great team and they've lost players because of the Olympics and other stuff like that. They don't have their first team out. I don't think so. We should get them really. And with the pivot of Kante and cover with Haki in the dream, who's firing really well this uh, preseason, good to see. Super Kai, who scored against Arsenal, and Timo Werner, who did score against Tottenham, but the Alina was blind. Sorry about that, Timo. I did slander you uh, in the ground on Wednesday, but it was a goal when I saw the highlights after. So I think that's a good team. Score. Hopefully we change, but I don't. Chelsea, you know, under Tuchel, haven't really been scoring that many goals. So I'm just going to go with a solid 2 0. We don't concede them. Could be more, but I think Bolongoli, when we sign him, will add to the. Goal scoring, so yeah, 2 0. See you this club pick up the trophy before we play Crystal Palace on Saturday, which I will be there for. So, another match vlog coming soon. Opening day of the season, can't wait. But without further ado, that's been me, Cam from Cam's Coburn, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully discussing the Chelsea victory against Villarreal. Fingers crossed, and Lukaku. Please, please announce some Chelsea. Adios.